All right, so if you want to write a book, but you don't like writing, you don't have time, I'm about to show you something really cool. I'm gonna show you how you can take content that you've already created and use it to write your book and get it 80 or 90% of the way there using AI. We're specifically going to be using this tool, Claude. I'm gonna show you real quick how this is done. So I'm writing a book for Joe McCall right now. Joe McCall is a well-known real estate investing coach. His business does multiple seven figures per year. He's a successful, busy guy, and he knows that writing a book to grow his coaching business would be a good idea. However, he just does not have the time to actually sit down and write. So here is what I have done for Joe. We are actually almost ready to publish his book, but I'm going to show you the process of what we did. So for example, let's say that in his book, we want easiest way to raise private money. Like this would be a valuable chapter for his book. So what we can do is there's a extension called GLASP, G-L-A-S-P, that you can get on your Chrome browser. And then GLASP is the easiest way to just copy the entire transcript. So every word that was said in this hour-long YouTube video, I now have copied. And then what I can do is come over to Claude, and I can paste it. I can paste it in, and it'll be here as an attachment. Claude just does that, so it's organized. Then I go to my AI prompts, or I have this prompt, which I will put down in the description for you guys. But this prompt is what I've created to help me write book chapters from YouTube content. So I paste that in. It tells Claude exactly how I would like the book chapter written. And we are off to the races. There's one thing you can see on here. It's talking about um, Bill Allen was, Bill says... Bill likes, right? So this was actually an interview with Bill. And so I may rework this. I may say, change it to first person and give me another draft. Sometimes you have to do like maybe a tiny tweak, just depending on the video you chose. But here's essentially what I do. So this chapter has been written. I come over to Google Docs, copy, paste it in and check it out. I have a book chapter already written how to get private money for real estate deals. And this is done uh, through Claude, which by the way, see everyone knows chat GPT. Claude is like the, probably the second best AI platform, but it is much better than chat GPT for writing. It knows how to write in a much more human tone. And you also, in the prompt that I'll give you, you notice that I'll say, like use a casual conversational style. The writer, uh, the writing should feel like a direct conversation with the reader. You definitely want to tell it to do those things. And then basically, you know, what I do for my clients, like if I'm going to write a book for a client using YouTube content, I will still go through all of this and make sure it's good and make changes and just read the whole thing from start to finish. But the cool thing is about this approach is a lot of people will say, isn't this like a, a cheap way to write a book? A lot of the most famous authors like Brian Tracy, for example, who's written 60 books, bunch of bestsellers, he speaks his books. He dictates his books into a microphone or his phone or whatever. And then he has somebody transcribe it. And then he goes through and writes it from that. That's the exact same thing that we just did. It's just that we have AI to do it a lot faster for us. And these, you know, one of the prompts that I have is don't change the words, you know, use as many of the original words as possible. That way, when you go to a YouTube video and you transcribe it into a book chapter, you'll be like, wow, this sounds like the exact words that came out of my mouth because they were because it was pulled from here. So we're not using Claude to write a generic book about real estate investing from the internet. We're using it to help us take things we've already said and put it out there in a book. 
you know, content at the end of the day is just ideas that are communicated. And sometimes we do it in a video or a podcast or a blog post or a book. Books are the most difficult way to communicate our ideas because it's long, super long form. You still have to like make the whole thing woven together. One chapter should link to the next and the whole set of chapters should provide a concise framework, right? What I'm teaching you today is not going to show you all that. However, I have already uh, provided all of that for you guys. You can get that for free in my book, Get Clients with a Book. This is what it looks like. You can get the ebook and the audiobook for free at getclientswithabook.com. This is going to show you what chapters should go in your book in what order. So then once you know that, you can go through your content and find where you already talked about those things, go through this process, and then paste them into your Google Doc for you, and you'll be 80 or 90% of the way done with that chapter. And then if you don't already have a piece of content about that thing, then you can make that your next YouTube video or whatever. In fact, for some of my clients, if they are like new or they don't have a lot of the YouTube content out there, like Joe does, I'll have them make their first 20 or 25 YouTube videos about the same things that need to be in their book. So as they create and publish those videos, which they were going to do anyways, I can be in the backdrop, grabbing the transcripts, rewriting it with Claude, pasting it on the Google Doc, and then rewriting it once again and organizing the whole thing into one cohesive book that reads exactly like a book, but is in their own voice because it came directly from their content. So I wanted to show this to you guys because this has just been blowing my mind lately. It's, it's saving me a lot of time and it's allowing me to write books for my clients very, very fast. AI is just super crazy powerful. Claude is the best writing AI platform. This is $20 per month. It will absolutely knock it out of the park for you. I'll also include that prompt for you down in the description that you can simply copy paste. I'm going to put it as a Google Doc link so I can keep it updated on the Google Doc. And whatever you see there is the most current version that I am using to write a book chapter. The last thing I'll say is that this is for individual chapters. You can also use Claude to help you with your book outline if you teach it how to outline a book properly using my book, Get Clients with a Book. That's something that I've done a couple times for clients, but it's still a little bit buggy, but it's something to think about. There is like a theory that Claude could write you an entire book using like a massive content dump. But right now, I've found that you get the best results by figuring out what chapters you want to include in your book and then going out and finding the individual content pieces or creating them that best represent the chapter content. I hope that has helped you to go out and write your book with ease so you can share your message with the world. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.